Has Glenn lost his damn mind? Why in the hell are we doing a segment about wedding movies? Wed, uh, wed, a wedding I changes musicals, man. Chad, would be your most unpopular, but by God, doesn't wedding movies just go right past musicals I, to yeah you know, I, I would want to watch there, there's a couple there's a couple much. there's a couple that i if if you all don't mention them that uh are rare exceptions but yeah wedding films ugh. oh <laughs> i i gentlemen i disagree uh i think there's i disagree be now, right off. Just right off. oh is there another van cleef movie where he was getting married or something <laughs> stupid <laughs> oh you're being asinine sir <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started with one that I know neither of the two of you are going to talk about. It was written and directed by Alan Alda, and it's Betsy's Wedding from 1990. Now, do I really like this movie? Probably not, but it led to a love of meatball sandwiches because Alan Alda plays the dad of Molly Ringwald, who's getting married. She's Betsy. It's Betsy's Wedding, and he eats meatball sandwiches, and as a child, I watched this. I now eat meatball sandwiches. You could say it's because I'm fat, but probably that's also true. Listen to this cast. Alan Alda, Jolie, jo, Joey Bishop, uh, Madeline Kahn, Anthony LaPaglia, Catherine O'Hare, Joe Pesci, Molly Ringwald, Ali Sheedy, Burt Young. Hell of a cast, isn't it? Does anybody talk about this movie now? No. no. You know why? It's probably it's fine. It's fine. Just led to my love of meatball sandwiches. Who goes next? All right. I'm going to go more recent then. Uh, I'm going to go as of two years ago. And it's not really actually, a, a, it's not about the wedding itself, but it's about right after the wedding. And it's ready or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's a good one. Okay. <laughs> I'll get on board with that one. It's more about the honeymoon. It's more about the honeymoon. Somebody just poked with something. And she's still in her wedding. The whole movie, yeah. she's in her wedding dress. So yeah. it counts as a wedding movie for me. What Ready or Not is about a bride's wedding night. Uh, and then things go horribly wrong for her. And it just gets progressively worse. It's not <laughs> it's just only whiskey, hour, Dick, gentlemen. It's only an hour and 35 minutes. And worth every, it, it uses every minute of that hour. That was one of my favorite films last year. It's a, I, I love and me, it. me and Joe do not agree on a lot, but we do agree that our our more recent favorite actress is Samara Weaving. Samara Weaving can do no wrong, no in my wrong. opinion. All right, I, I've got two I need to mention because you can't talk about marriages without these two films. Because the first one tells the epic story of a doubtless seer and a throneless king, and the reason it has to be mentioned as a marriage film is because as part of the promotion of the film. Columbia Pictures allowed 12 couples to be married on the set as a promotion for the film. So, of course, I'm talking about the greatest romantic film of all time, Kroll. <laughs> the true story, look it up. Kroll, as a promotion, allowed 12 people to get married just the same way that, spoiler, the movie ends. So 12 people got married because of the film crawl and it was a competition folks look at the history of it so one of the greatest marriage films of all time crawl what's the now, next one and the other one i have to mention because we did do a, a certain film with a theme it doesn't start leaving please sadly but i have to mention paper marriage now there's several films that have that title but i'm referring to this referring, 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 i'm also referring to the samo hung film and if you've never seen this the second film, time Sam Ho Hung has come up today, don't ask. So <laughs> this film, of course, you know him from martial law. The Not rush hour ripoff. Martial law. This film was this movie was filmed in Alberta, Canada. It's supposed to be set in LA and it's in Cantonese, so you can buy it subtitled. I'll just read briefly the, the description. It won't be brief. Uh no. A down on his luck Chinese boxer named Bo Chen, played by Sam Hung, <laughs> accepts promises of payment to marry a Hong Kong woman named Jade Lee, Maggie Chun, so she can get American citizenship. They realize too late that this has all been a setup to a complicated plan to cheat them out of their money. Their adventures continue on when Bo is forced back into the ring and Jade has to try her hand at mud wrestling. Doesn't that sum up marriage? You don't. Th you think you're out. You think you you're think out, and mud wrestling comes right back on in. You're right. Yeah, I, I, you think you're not going to get punched in the face anymore? Bam. So Bam. if you've never mud seen wrestling. Paper Marriage, it's available subtitled. Check out Paper Marriage. I do recommend it just because, oh, it's somewhere between Three Stooges. I don't know, Pride and Prejudice. It's somewhere in that range. So check that out. But Crawl, Crawl, great marriage movie. 12 Stop. people. This has been Bonehead America. Weekly Fun Size. 12 people in America got married because of Crawl. <laughs> 